Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video we're going to play with this SSD 1306 128 by 64 dot matrix OLED display. So let's get started by wiring this thing up. Wiring this display is uh, pretty easy because it has only four wires on it. SDA, SCL, ground and VCC. So you just have to connect four wires and you're ready to go. Connect the 3.3 volt of the Arduino to the LCD. Now connect the ground pins and SCL pins and SDA. So that's about it for the wiring. Let's write some code for this thing. Okay, before jumping on straight to the Arduino IDE, we need to download this Adafruit SSD 1306 library. So I'm gonna click the download as zip now. And we need one more from Adafruit, which is a Adafruit GFX library. These libraries makes it very easy to use these displays so it has examples some functions so lots of good stuff now i'm going to click the download as zip now so here is the two adafruit libraries so now we can import these libraries from the arduino ide but before we do that we need to rename these libraries so use small names and don't use underscore and dashes because the latest arduino software doesn't allow us to do that okay so let's fire up the arduino ide and uh, import these libraries uh, in the Arduino software so sc click sketch add library now find your library uh, where it is it's uh, my mine is on the desktop uh, where it is um, it's uh, right here yeah there it is and click uh, open I have already added these libraries so that's what is showing me that and so now uh, add the other library uh, which is the SSD 1306 library here it is. I'm going to click that and hit open and that's what it's showing again. So now we are all set to upload the example code to the Arduino. Okay, so let's upload an example code uh, to this display. Click on Adafruit SSD3006. My display is a 128 by 64. You can use these kind of displays as well. And it's an I2C. I'm going to maximize the ID so you guys can see easily. So this is the code for the LCD and now I'm going to quickly change the address of my display from 3D to 3C because my display uses this address. Let's verify the code to see if, uh, if we have any errors or not in this code. Look like we are good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload the code to the Arduino. And, and it's, it's about to done. It's done. And I can see the Adafruit industry in my LCD. Looks like we have successfully programmed this LCD and now it's displaying all sorts of things that we can do with it. And now I'm going to modify the code to something simple. So that is my code and uh, it just simply writes hello world in the middle of the screen and goes uh, downwards and then upwards. As you can see in the loop section of this uh, code, you can see there is a display dot set, te set text size which is uh, setting the text size to one which is a very small text and the next line uh, setting the text color and then we have the while loop which uh, sets the cursor at the top middle of the display and then we print uh, display dot print uh, prints the hello world statement uh, and then we incrementing the counter so it just increments the row segment of the LCD and then we have the other while loop which uh, does the same job but in the reverse fashion so it just uh, prints the hello world in the bottom middle of the display and then pushing upward now I'm going to verify the code to check for the errors and uh, look like we don't have any and I'm going to upload the code to the Arduino and uh, and see if it's working so here is my output uh, in the middle of the screen hello world just going up and down exactly what I told it to do so that's about it for this video if you enjoy watching this video leaving a like will be greatly appreciated and if you have any question comment them out i will get back to you as soon as i can and if you if you want to you can subscribe to my channel as well so thanks for watching